Listen up, Bronx. Listen, Listen up. up. Today, we're going to be looking at the least common multiple. What is the least common multiple, you may ask? Well, I'll show you. Use an example with two numbers, three and four. So we'll write all the multiples up to 30 and 40. So we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, okay, 18, then 21, 24, 27, excuse me, and 30. Okay, so now we have the multiples of 3. Now let's write the multiples of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, then we have 20, then we have 24, 28, 20, 32, 36, and finally 40. So now, there are two common numbers here, 12 and 24. Both of those common numbers, you can understand it like we're taking the intersection of two sets. However, the 24 is greater, but we're looking for the least common multiple, which is 12. The ambition plus MKO plus scaffolding equals learning. Excuse me. We believe anyone can learn anything. That's why our motto is memorization is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. And the first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love, love with math and science. Math and science.